Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to a gorgeous day in the garden. Um, I was talking to my sweet friend, Sarah Mack of Sarah Mack Art, and we were talking about each other's paintings, and I was telling her which ones of hers that I liked best, and she was telling me there was one of mine that she really liked also, and we thought about it. So, you know, it would be really fun if we tried to recreate each other's pour and just see how that goes. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do today. Uh, the piece of hers that I'm going to be trying to recreate is one of her galaxy pours that she actually did for me, which is hanging on my living room wall. I will show you guys a picture of it, and it's an absolutely gorgeous piece. I think it was sort of Star Wars colors inspired one of her original galaxy pours, which was really beautiful. So we're going to give that a go and see how it goes. And I hope that she recreates one of my paintings. And I'm sure you guys will absolutely love it because she's an amazing artist. So let's get down to the canvas and get started. Uh, today we're going to be working on this beautiful 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Cloth. I have taped and pinned the back. And I have painted my sides and edges. There's the taping and the pinning and the painting. <laughs> Let me show you the colors that we're working with tonight. First thing we have is this gorgeous Golden's Prussian Blue. My pouring medium is my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and Floetrol. Nice and creamy, mound on a mound, and then sinks into itself pretty quick. Okay, and the next one that we're using is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Beautiful, beautiful color. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. All right. And then we have some quinacridone magenta, or is it quinacridone violet? No, quinacridone, quinacridone crimson from Golden. Beautiful stuff. Okay. And then we have one of my absolute favorite colors ever. This is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. I love this. I absolutely love this. <laughs> it just makes me very happy whenever it's in a painting, so. Okay, and then we have our usual suspects, our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Did you cut your, your ring is sticking to your glove? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, I'll change it in a minute. <laughs> like, why are your gloves so shiny? And then we have some uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. <laughs> okay, let me get a new glove on and we'll get started. That's hilarious. It's never happened before. Okay, so we are going to start off. That's a 24 by 24 inch wrapped canvas. So we need about 21 ounces of paint for that size. That's a 16 ounce cup. So I'm going to take my 16 ounce cup and a 7 ounce cup. And we're gonna layer both of them. I'm gonna pour this one first, and then I'm gonna pour this one in the center. So I already know that this is going to be my center of my pour, and this is gonna be the outside and the background. So we are gonna start off, so I'm not so much concerned with how the center looks in this one. That's the point of doing two. Okay, we're gonna start off like Sarah does, with a little bit of white in the bottom, and a little bit of gold. And then we're going to come in with our beautiful phthalo turquoise, or turquoise phthalo. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the Prussian blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of, hmm, okay, I'll put a tiny bit of the permanent violet dark. And then we're going to put just a splash of white and some gold. And then we're going to come in with that quinacridone crimson. And then we're going to come back to the Prussian blue and we're going to do it again. So Prussian blue. I think I'm going to put a tiny layer of white in between those also. Because we do have a lot of deeper bold colors here. And I want to make sure that we can see everything individually. Mm. I'm put a little bit of gold on there. And then a little bit of white. So when you have colors that you don't want to mix, put a barrier in between them. And put a little bit more of that. And we're going to use the quinacridone crimson. I'm going to put some gold on there. And some white. 
And we're gonna start all over again. I'm gonna do one more layer. Fresh and blue. The turquoise. A little bit of white. Some permanent violet dark. this and now I'm actually going to put a bigger layer of the Prussian blue on top of that that's a very full cup okay I'm going to pour this first and then we're going to layer this one because I want to see what I want and what I like before I layer this cup okay so we're going to bring our canvas over I'm going to put a little bit of gold down in the center and we're going to do a straight pour, hopefully galaxy style, inspired by my dear friend Sarah Mack. Okay, here we go. Right there. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Okay, here we go. So we might go up and down a little bit, but I'm not going to put any twists or turns or anything in this one. We're just going to do a, a regular straight pour. Here we go. side of the cup coming out you didn't see this side <laughs> that's really pretty actually okay I really like that a lot mm -hmm. all right so to do this little cup this is gonna be what do we want in the center so I'm literally just gonna put like a tiny bit of white just that much Before we pour this though, I'm going to pour a little bit of foam extender around this because I don't want it to roll over itself and lose any of that coolness that's there. Okay, okay now we're going to pour this cup. so it was the way that it was when I was pouring it. This 
really pretty though. <laughs> is it this way? No, it's this way. Okay. Let's just move this back into the center a bit. There we go. Okay. We're gonna start right there in the middle. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Stay close to the canvas so we get those beautiful fingerlings. around here on our corners. This is just Amsterdam titanium white. See the flow extender moving. So right now we're just distributing the paint evenly across the canvas. We're not taking anything off yet. Composition in the center intact, so
Some really cool stuff happening in here. Wow. What do you think of this corner, HOA? It doesn't seem to be similar to the other three. <laughs> mm. I kind of like it, but. Yeah, I like it too. I'm just, it's, I'm not saying I want to take it off, I just. Wanted to know what you think. No, I like it. Do you think we should take the center down a little bit more to center yes. it more? Yes. Okay, we might lose some of this though, which is why I was oh. saying that. Cool. I like it. Mm -hmm. I love this like really deep depression and the turquoise and the purple and the crimson together. Like really beautiful with the little bits of gold in there and the fingerlings go through there. Really pretty stuff. I like the center. I like those bolder cells that we're getting in the turquoise. It's really pretty too. So. Do you think we should take some of this off and open this up more? Or it's good the way it is? No, I like it. You like it? Okay. Alright. I think one of the things that really makes a difference with these galaxy pores is if you can try to keep the center composition still in a circle. Like right over here, I anchored it a little too early and we got this dip. I could try to fix that. Let's see. Where is the way of the paint? That was the only thing I wasn't crazy about. <laughs> It may not work though, but we can try. See the way the paint's all over here right now, so it's gotta move all the way down there to there. that I hadn't brought it all the way back to the edge because now I have this peaky part that I'm not going to be able to get rid of. The only way to get rid of it would be to re-pour it and I don't want to do that. So 
This is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Kind of getting UFO now with that peak over there, but. <laughs> Do you think I should try to like make this part look more like that, like anchor the gold over and stretch it out? And I just dripped in. I think now I have to do something about that. This is cool. I'm sure Sarah's gonna laugh. <laughs> but I think this turned out really, really pretty. Yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We'll be right back with dried results. And thank you to my sweet Sarah Mac. I love you, honey. Okay, so this is a few days later. Um, it is not completely dry yet, but it's getting there. And it's really pretty. <laughs> I'm loving this. Colors are just amazing together. So much bling and sparkle and shimmer. I do like the overall final result. I like the composition. I like that we have this sort of rainbow iridescent -y stuff on the top and around the sides. And then inside the middle is a really bright. So... This one turned out really pretty. I really like all these fingerlings in the middle. They're very pretty. Gorgeous stuff. Cool boulder cells. So, this was fun. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I really appreciate all of you. Um, it's kind of raining outside, but when the sun comes back out, I will take it outside and show you in the sun. So, thanks for being here with us. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.